Um, my name is Natalie, and I am a part of the Books Read Am community. This is my first booktube video. Um, I'm hoping this will go well. I don't really know. Um, so today's video is going to be about behind the bookstagrammer and best books of 2017 with a mix of what I read in 2017 because I actually didn't get back into reading that much until this year. So yeah, let's get started. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, okay. So behind the bookstagrammer. So I joined bookstagram about in August. Um, what happened was I used to be a Divergent fan account and was a Lionsgate correspondent for the Divergent series and would promote for them because obviously Divergent favorite series like let's be real um and then um we got her uh news that Ascendant part two wasn't going to happen and that they were turning into a tv show and I like already had grown a huge fandom so I didn't see the point of like putting my account to waste and one of my friends already converted to bookstagram friend at the time and so she was like why don't you just become a bookstagram and that's what I did so I've been in the bookstagram community ever since changed my username I originally started out with my old um divergent account username um allegenetics and then I changed it to bookenetics so that's how it was born and I already had like most of the followers accumulated but I was trying to gain more from the steer away from the divergent side and go more to the bookstagram side sorry about the light i'm like trying to charge my phone at the same time and have good lighting for this video and it's done on my phone so okay so that's basically behind the bookstagram i guess so i just like started posting more about books and i started promoting for book of the month and page habit so i obviously posted their stuff and those are gonna i still haven't read most of my page habit books spoiler alert but um that can be a future thing, a future unboxing for Page Habit. I can do a December box that I just got, or I can do a previous box if I remember where I put everything. So, moving on from behind the bookstagrammer, and we're going to go to Reads of 2017. Because the year is almost over, year in review, might as well do that. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm going to try and go in order, but the conclusion of the not actually mirrored it turns out so my very first read was the conclusion of um jenny han's trilogy of uh to all the boys i loved before fun fact this is becoming a movie and i'm also low-key promoting that i think um they finished production in august and i love the books they're just amazing so i'm pretty sure all of you most of you probably read this so this is the third one the conclusion always and forever laura jean um, the, you have to bear with me here, um, the series was actually originally supposed to be a duology, but fans kept asking, um, Jenny for a third book, and then she also, well, she's not gonna, I feel like she's not gonna admit that, but then she also was like, I felt like Laura Jean's story wasn't over, so that's how, that's how it turned into a trilogy, and so, if you've never read it before, um, the jacket inside reads Laura Jean is having the best senior year and there's still so much time to look forward to class trip to New York City prom with her boyfriend Peter beach week after graduation and her dad's wedding to Miss Rothschild then she'll be off to college with Peter at a school close enough for her to come home and bake chocolate chip cookies on the weekends life couldn't be more perfect at least that's what Laura Jean thinks until she gets some unexpected news now the girl who dreads change must rethink all her plans but when your heart and your head are saying two different things which one should you listen to so highly recommend the series at the conclusion over the summer and yeah um next we have just have a pile of books on the floor it's all good um this is called please look after mom i haven't finished it yet but i have to read it for english why is the lighting like that ooh, ooh. okay then um please look after mom by kyung song shin i don't know how to pronounce that um, this book is about, it's kind of short, we have to read this in English because I take a contemporary English story. Um, so it takes place in Korea and it's basically like when their mom disappears and it's basically short stories from this different point of views of the children and the husband. So basically the family members. Um, it's a little dense because it's translated from Korean. 
it is a good book though I mean I haven't finished it yet there are some moments but you just like this book makes you realize how grateful you should be for your parents um I don't want to say anything else to give it away um next most of all you by Mia Sheridan this goes on my favorites list for sure I was offered this a book as an oh my god the lighting I'm sorry I was offered this book as an arc and it's such a good book um so here's the back um uh, a broken woman crystal learned long ago that love brings only pain feeling nothing at all is far better than being hurt again she guards her wounded heart behind a hard exterior and carries within her a deep mistrust of men who in her experience have only ever used and taken and then there's gabriel so a man in need of help then gabriel dalton walks into her life despite the terrible darkness of his past there's an undeniable goodness in him and even though she knows the cost crystal finds herself drawn to gabriel his quiet strength is wearing down her defenses and his gentle patience is causing her to question everything she thought she knew crystal and gabriel never imagined the world which had stolen everything from them would bring them a deep love like this except fate will only take them so far and now the choice is theirs Harden their hearts once again, or find the courage to shed their painful pasts. Again, this is Most of All You by Mia Sheridan. Um, I thought this writing was exceptional. Um, Mia Sheridan brings, like, two broken people together, and it's just, like, I have no words to describe how amazing this book is. This will, like, move, I have not been moved to tears by many books, and this book actually brought some tears to my eyes, and it's just amazing. It's, like, such good writing i mean kind of terrible at book reviews still new to this but i think if you're into romance and contemporaries you will definitely like it it's i rated it five stars out of five stars because like i said exceptional writing mia sheridan does an amazing job of bringing the characters to life you really feel their pain and you really empathize with them um okay so i think the rest of my books are mostly from book of the month um, so I just recently finished this book a couple days ago. It's called The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pickconnen. Got it from Book of the Month's December box. Yeah, December. Got January, but I can't really tell what's in that. Got December box. So this book doesn't actually hit shelves until January 9th or 8th, but I highly, highly recommend it. The book tells you in the jacket to assume nothing. Uh, yeah, no, if you see that, whatever, you can't see that. Okay, so it tells you to literally assume nothing, and they really mean it because I was, it's it's a thriller, and it's just, like, you think you're taking, like, the, the story's told from two different point of views, hence the two authors, and then there are a bunch of twists and turns that you don't see coming. Um, one spoiler I will say is you think you're reading from two different point of views, but you're actually not. The narrator is very unreliable, um... This definitely goes in my favorites of 2017 as well. Like I said, such um, such a good book. Um, I just was so confused the entire time. I had to reread parts. Like, it's that good. The writing is exceptional like, between, from both authors. And these are both um, new authors, I believe. They were uh, editors before. But, yeah, if you love thrillers, this one's definitely for you. It's such a good book. And I love the cover art. It's so pe pretty excuse my theo james poster okay this is just going back to my divergent days i have tris on the other side over here we're just you know oh might as well just show it so enjoy tris over there and then more back there i live in my attic on the stairs anyways so uh, this was positioned so well and now it's just not okay okay so moving on wife between us highly highly recommend what do we have next so little and lion by brandy colbert um i also got this from book of the month i in august it says um i like this book but i wasn't the biggest fan i thought it focuses a lot on bipolar disorder so if you get it, you get a better understanding of it for sure but i just thought there was no plot behind it besides the whole bipolar disorder and it's just like the character it's like she's like about character identity and stuff like that but I just feel as if there's no plot beyond that and I'm one who likes a plot and be like for example 
Tris Pryor. Um, she was like basically lost in herself, but also there was a plot behind that where it's like the whole genetics thing, the whole like factions and all this and that. This is just like about identity and like there's no like mystery going on there or stuff like that. Like this will lead me to, this will be a good transition to John Green, okay? Where is it? Um, Turtles All the Way Down. John Green's new book. I liked it, but at the same time I didn't. Turtles All the Way Down focuses on OCD and the, you get inside the mind of a girl who has OCD which is great and all better understanding but I just felt like there was not much plot going on behind it or there was but it was just hard to understand it was like what is she doing chasing after um and trying to investigate um saw the uh, Russell Pickett who's hundred thousand dollars who's a fugitive billionaire who went missing and so they kind of like start investigating him for the reward but then she like reconnects with his son who's her friend which is Isa the main character and then they kind of just forget about it and I'm and then at the end like they'll sudden it comes full circle but I just feel like it's not that satisfying and I personally don't think it was a good novel I just don't think it was John Green's best work that will forever be looking for Alaska for me okay Moving on. Um, so that was not in my top 2017. That's just books I've read. This for however, Book of the Month, Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Eng. Um, this was in September's box. This, however, is going in my favorite reads of 2017. This book is amazing. And the I just felt the writing is very great. She um Celeste does an amazing job of oh my god, the camera's moving. Celeste does an amazing job of integrating um the past with the present day and like the beginning of the book starts off in present day and then it works its way back from the like how led up sorry led up to this present day and you get a understanding of the characters lives the whole dilemma between everything and how it led to today's conflict of little fires everywhere which is the beginning the story starts off with the house on fire so um it I just feel as if it was such a good book and like the writing was exceptionally especially with the past woven but I felt as if the ending was a little rushed and I actually gave my English teacher to read this and she agrees with me so but yeah it's basically about there's like drama between a Asian baby that's getting adopted be by a white family there's like some court case and this and that so that's the drama unfold and everybody else's drama gets into it blah 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 highly recommend um next book is Emma and the Night which is in September's book of the month um I like this it wasn't a favorite I've been very picky with books this year I also just got back out of a reading slump because school senior in high school I mean yeah senior in high school don't have much time to read but I've had more time to read this year so I've read a lot of books my goal for 2018 is 30 um I had really high expectations for this book and I just felt like they were all crushed. Um, it's about a narcissistic mom and two, t two girls go missing and uh, one of them goes missing the um, first, uh, one of them goes missing and then the other one comes back um, a couple of years later and I just feel as if the narrator is very very unreliable. This is supposed to be a thriller but I felt like it just died down It got boring real fast. Um, but. If you're into thrillers, maybe give this one a shot. Don't take my opinion. This is just just doing my books of the year, you know? Um, I'm on night Wendy Walker. I have two more books. Um The next book is Lies She Told by Kate Hollahan. September 2017, Book of the Month. I get all of my books from Book of the Month and from Page Habit use code you can use a code bookanetics for uh, a discount on page habit but book of the month highly recommend um anyways for this one like she told um this is about a author's life and at the same time she's writing a, nar uh, a novel at the same time and in reality it's kind of like the both books intertwine her novel and the um her life um she kind of it's like she doesn't realize it's a makeshift of her life as well and that what she's writing actually happened in some sort of makeshift form like 
but then she realizes it later and I'm sort of spoiling it sort of not but basically it's a novel within a novel and the writing is very well written I just kind of had more hopes but it was a good book I did not expect it there's something that you don't this is one of those books that has you keep on guessing like you don't know where it's gonna end so yeah but I also tend to read the end of some books sometimes to spoil myself so that's my own problem um yeah so last book I'm going to include is Read Jane by Patricia Park I had to read this for English I just finished it yesterday or two days ago oh there's another book that I have but I it's on my phone um which I am using to videotape um so Read Jane if you ever read Jane Eyre I never had our teacher made us watch the movie in the class first and then she told us to read this so Read Jane is a Korean retelling of Jane Eyre and basically I feel as if I didn't like it that much because I felt as if the character doesn't know what she wanted and she was very um going back and forth and she had other people telling her what she wanted and stuff and like or how she was and she couldn't figure it out on her own and I'm just like that just bothered me a lot of decisions she made weren't that great um so I guess one more book that I have that I just finished last night was the finale of the Fallaway series or the Bully series by Penelope Douglas I read next to never and I rated it four out of five stars I personally think it wasn't as good as the other books but it was also shorter and written differently it was another book within a book but it was like a backstory of like the parents sort of and or like the stories of everyone which I did like it but I highly recommend that series though um so anyways going back we're gonna go in review of what my top 2017 books were those are all the books that I read though I feel like there's some missing but I can't think of any um so my favorites were Little Fires Everywhere, The Wife Between Us, Most of All You, and Always in Forever Laura Jean, but the series is my favorite. So Peter K, everyone, Peter K. Anyways. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I know that got lengthy real fast, but hopefully you'll subscribe below because this is a new channel. I'm hoping to update pretty regularly, maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks. Depends on my schedule and the ideas that I have. And so I'm going to put a link for subscription and hopefully you will follow my bookstagram down below. Thanks and thanks for bearing with me. Bye.